So in the last video we checked that the people that enter the competition that their email addresses is actually going into our MailChimp email list. So now we want to send an email to that list and we use campaigns to do that. So we want to notify people about the competition and, and the winner. So we click on campaigns, click on create a campaign, choose your list. In this example it's Facebook competition. Click on next. Enter the name of your campaign. So here we might say Facebook competition winner. We must also enter our company name and the subject again might be the same as above or something else. So this is just for record purposes. You have to have your email address in here. That's the where if anybody replies where the email goes. If you haven't verified it already there will be a link there called verify your email and MailChimp will send you an email to verify that the address actually exists. So you can personalize the two fields so you'd leave that in there and we click on next. Now there's a range of different pre-designed templates and everything else for this example and it's the one I use most often is the drag and drop editor. So we click on basic templates and I like to use the very first one a one column email. We don't want to do an overly complicated email. So it's loading here we can upload an image so we can browse we can upload a picture from our our image from our computer so we browse for a file click on wherever the file might be stored it might be in this case if it's a competition for a hotel break click on the image and click on upload so we now, now have a nice image resized by MailChimp up here at the top of our email then we can change the design so we can say so we give the email a title in the body here we have a winner and then we can put in a subheading or we can put in the person's name we can clear the example text that is there at the moment so to put in the person's name and it's also are always good to personalize the email we'll just click save and close here we go back to setup and in the file the meta tag here, or the merge tag, sorry, we have first name. So we copy that, we go back into design and we want to paste that in here. So it's always good to personalize your emails. And then we can put in some sample text here. So we can start to fill out the email by putting in information. We can also highlight anything that we want and add a link. To change the font, highlight the entire text, click on the drop down choose font maybe the home and then the different sizes you click on save and close you can put another image underneath so to do that you can click on image and drag it down so drop block here and we can put in another image underneath if we wish or to delete the block we can hit delete we can also add our um, social media links so we can drop drag and drop that into the email and put in your corresponding Facebook, Twitter, website address. So to do that you just pop them in the different ones here. You can click and save and close. You can also drag in the social sharing buttons for people so that they can share the image or sorry the email on Facebook. They can share it on Twitter. Indeed if you use LinkedIn you can add LinkedIn. You can people can share it on LinkedIn, etc. and save and close. So make sure you change the text up here at the very top. So again it might be something like Facebook competition winner. You leave the link in there that people can actually view the email in a browser. Click on save and close. We go next. So we want to have a, a plain text copy of the email so we just click on copy text from the HTML email. We can delete these here because they won't work in a plain text email. We'll click on next and that's the email design. So the subject line, Facebook competition. Now if you want to include the name of the person in the subject line you also need to put in, you can copy this tag here and put it in at the top. Click on next and if we go as far as confirm then we can preview it in a pop-up window to see how it's going to look and to make sure that the first name 
is going into the email we click on view live merge info so for this email address for the competition we can see that the first name is going in if we click on show the header stuff we can also see that the name is going into the subject so we can X out of that we can send now or we can schedule for later if you send it now click send and away it goes or if you click on schedule you can put in a date and time and that's your email gone out to the people who entered your Facebook competition when the email is sent after a couple of hours you can actually see how many people opened the email who opened the email and how many people clicked on any links that might be within that email so for example I sent one earlier this morning and I can see that we're one subscriber and we didn't open the email so for other emails that I've sent previously with this account you can see that for 33 subscribers of this particular list we can see that over 30 percent of people opened it which equates to 10 and the open rate sorry the open rate was 60 percent and 10 people clicked on a link within the email